What is going on everyone, it's Nero again, and here for you, some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 playing some Domination, this time on the map raid using the M27 Assault Rifle. This video is going to fall within the line of other videos I've done previously this week, which are going to be basically tip style videos to help people improve at Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and improve at the game Call of Duty in general. So today's tip is basically going to be, a, it's a more simple one, it's more of a reserved one, it's kind of a basic tip, but it's uh, know your weapon strengths. And some of you may see it as though this is a uh, too basic of a video, but I've been playing League of Legends as of late, and I'm horrible at the game, and I'm very new to the game, and when I try to watch tutorial videos, those things aren't basic enough. Everyone's using abbreviations and different kinds of things. I don't understand what anyone's saying when they're talking about these tip videos for League of Legends. So, I'm going to make this video here, kind of keeping in mind that not every person that watches the video is already an expert on Call of Duty. Like, of course, all of you are. Because everyone on the internet's an expert at Call of Duty. But no, in all seriousness, the point of the video is to know your weapon strengths. So when I play Call of Duty, uh, back when I first started playing it, and even to this day, I sometimes struggle with the idea of playing my weapon strengths. You know, I'm a shotgun player for the most part. In Black Ops 2, my top weapon in terms of kills is the r 70 shotgun. In Modern Warfare 3, my top weapon in terms of kills was the Striker shotgun. That's just how I am. I'm a shotgun player. I'm constantly moving, constantly running in the enemy spawn with a shotgun and trying to take people out. Hell, if you guys saw my shotgun montage, you would know. It's in my channel. Go check it out. But the point of it is, is I sometimes have difficulty getting out of the shotgun mindset when I have to go use an assault rifle. Right? If you picture how you would play an R870 shotgun here on the map raid, if you picture how you would play that shotgun, and then run those exact same routes and that exact same strategy, but with an M27, you're not going to have a good time. You can't take an M27 assault rifle where you plan on taking your R870 shotgun. It doesn't work out like that. It doesn't. If you're using a shotgun, you're going to want to stay within that close range. That's it. You want close range. You're going to be within 5 or 10 feet of your enemy at any given time. If you're going to get killed, that is. I mean, of course, you cannot be near them. Doing nothing in the back of the map, you're picking flowers, that's not going to help. So if you want to get kills with your shotgun, 5 to 10 feet maximum is where you're going to need to be. That's just kind of how the game works. If you're using a submachine gun, it's a submachine gun is more of a close quarters combat style weapon. So you're going to want to be that close to intermediate range. Uh, you picture... 5 to 10 feet, maybe 5 to 15 feet is as far as back as you're going to... That's basically the effective range of your submachine gun. I mean, of course, you can get kills outside of that range, but in terms of your effective range, you're going to want 5 to 15 feet. And then you can move on to assault rifles here. Assault rifles, are, it basically just goes down the line. If you picture feet within the game, you're going to be that 15 intermediate feet to possibly uh, the 30 on the long range. You know, somewhere along there. You're going to want to be 15 to 30 feet away if you're using an assault rifle. Or if you're using a light machine gun, you're going to want to go that uh, medium to long range as well. It, except you move slower. That's kind of how light machine guns work. They're basically just a slower assault rifle with more ammo. The point being is to kind of keep that mindset. You always have to play a bit smarter. You're going to see throughout this gameplay, I'm sure you did see it a lot more towards the beginning especially. Now that we're triple capping, it's kind of uh, difficult to understand exactly what it is I'm doing and the method behind my madness. But towards the beginning, you saw that all my teammates, which is nowhere near the B flag, they weren't. And I was just sitting back and I was using the, map, the parts of the map to my advantage, kind of clipping, head poking above them. And making it harder for the enemy team to be able to see me. And I do that still throughout this video. You, know, you see me pop up there back to that pillar there. Where I would keep going back and uh, looking down towards the stairway. You'll constantly see me running back for head poked, head poked. This is basically how you play an assault rifle within Call of Duty. If you want to effectively play the assault rifle kit and do it well. And do it consistently every game. You're going to want to play uh, similar to how I'm doing in this. You're going to want to play it basic. You, know, you don't want to move around too much. You don't move around too much when you have an assault rifle. You just don't. In Black Ops 2, the assault rifles are rather weak. Uh, going back to Black Ops 1, maybe some Modern Warfare 2, hell, Modern Warfare 3, the assault rifles are a lot more powerful. And they're really not here in Black Ops 2. A lot of them are very weak. I think the AN-94 is above and beyond. Well, AN-94 and Type 25 are probably above and beyond the best uh, fully auto assault rifles. And you can't go wrong with the M8A1, which is a burst fire weapon. But, yeah, you want to stick back. You notice throughout this gameplay, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly putting myself in this medium-range distance away from the enemy and taking them out that way 
You know, I'm never, you're, I, well, I, it has happened, but I'm not purposefully running up and taking on somebody two feet away with my M27. The M27, it doesn't have the biggest fire rate, it doesn't have a lot of damage, but what it does have is it has no recoil whatsoever, and I use that to my advantage. That's what I do throughout this gameplay, is I sit back and I pick people off with my M27 assault rifle, and that is today's video. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Please know your weapon strengths. If you're wondering about any particular weapon, or if you're confused as to how the best effective way to use a certain weapon, type in the comments. I'm sure I'd be I'd be happy to respond to it, or if I don't get to it, I'm sure uh, other people in the comments be sure to reply to it. Like, let's say, for example, your question is, Nero, how do I use the KSG shotgun? What would be the best effective way to use KSG shotgun? I would say to you, Sir, I don't think you should use that gun because it's awful and misses all the time because the slug and with the light conversation and the slug inaccuracies, it's just horrible to use. But if I had to convince you to use, uh, like if you're just absolutely convinced to use this KSG shotgun here in Black Ops 2, I would say you're going to need to use something along the lines of quick draw and adjustable stock on it. So you can constantly keep ADSing down and get that going. And uh, just constantly walk around everywhere aiming. Because if you hit fire with the KSG, it's, it's awful and it's not going to work. But uh, that is my tip for you guys. And I'm not going to be showing this whole gameplay because the entire enemy team ended up, ended up quitting out. And it's a rather boring second half. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to know. What you guys want to know. I'm sure if I don't reply to everything, then I'm sure other people in the comments will reply to everything. And we'll have a nice big old cluster pump of replying to each other and friendship. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to leave a rating. And I hope you guys all... Have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks as I rolled.